I'm Amy Graham. I'm a speech language pathologist. I'm the owner of Graham Speech Therapy, and I'm the author of the three complexity decks from Bjorn Speech. I wanna talk about what the complexity approach is, and if you're an SLP who works with young children with significant phonological impairments, why this is an approach you are going to want to put in your toolbox. If you have young children on your caseload who are significantly phonologically impaired, so they have so many sounds that are missing in their inventory that you just don't know quite where to start, this is exactly the approach you need to know about. It differs from traditional articulation approaches where you look at all the sounds that the child doesn't have and you begin with the earliest developing sounds and you start there targeting one at a time until you get through all the sounds that the child is missing. That is going to take forever. What the complexity approach does is it flips that entirely on its head. So instead of looking at the earliest developing sounds that the child is missing and targeting those, we look at the later developing sounds and ideally clusters, because that is a more complex phonemic unit that we can address. And what we do by addressing clusters in a child's speech system is that acts as a trigger to improve knowledge and understanding and use of not just the cluster that you're targeting, but it has a generalization effect where other less complex singletons also start to emerge on their own in that child's speech so that you don't have to directly target each one. But there are a lot of clusters to choose from. So what the complexity approach decks do is they take the guesswork out of target selection for you. There are three decks in the complexity approach bundle. The first deck I wanna talk about is the three element cluster deck. The most complex speech targets that we can use in order to affect this kind of change in a child's speech system is a three element cluster. And that comes in our yellow and blue three element cluster deck. Inside this deck, you're gonna find an insert that tells you a little bit more about this approach and helps you decide whether or not a three element cluster is appropriate for the child that you're going to be treating. This deck includes 11 picture cues for five different three element clusters. So you'll see images like squash, which would represent the SKW cluster, squeak, SPL clusters, splotch, splurge, STR clusters, strong, stretch. We have SKR clusters as well in scrub and scrape and SPR clusters, sprain, sprite. You might be thinking to yourself, there's no way I'm going to get a child to say a three element cluster who is already so impaired. And you might be right because a three element cluster is only effective if a child has some knowledge and some use of the second and the third sound in that cluster. So if a child doesn't have any usage of the P sound or the L sound, I would not get the same benefit from targeting the SPL cluster as I would a less complex two element cluster. And that's where the next two decks come in. If we can't treat a three element cluster, the next most complex cluster is a two element cluster, but there are a lot of two element clusters. So how do we know which ones are going to give us the biggest bang for our buck? Luckily, the researchers have done the work for us and we know that two element clusters that have a smaller sonority difference between the two sounds will give us the biggest impact in a child's speech. So the next two decks in the complexity approach bundle cover two element clusters. Deck one covers two element clusters with a sonority difference of three. You'll also get an insert that describes the approach in this deck, along with 50 picture cues that target these two element clusters. For each cluster, there are 10 picture cards. So for FL, for example, you'll see words like flip, flame. For SL, you'll see slip, slide, for the THR cluster, throw. For the FR cluster, there'll be pictures like frog. And then lastly, we have SHR clusters for words like shrink. In our last deck, deck two, we cover two element clusters with a sonority difference of four. So just a little less complex, but still can be really effective. It also comes with an insert describing the approach but you'll find words that have two element clusters like SW in the word SWAT, GL, GLAM. We'll have the BL cluster, blah. DR is another cluster, drag. BR, 
bride, and GR for words like grad. This deck covers those six clusters with nine picture cues for each cluster. So in a nutshell, the idea is if your child has a lot of phonological errors, maybe let's say they're gliding, so they don't have L or R, they're maybe producing a W sound, or they're also stopping. Every time an F or an S pops up, they're using a stop consonant, and maybe they're cluster reducing as well too. If you target a cluster, you can actually target all of those phonological errors in one fell swoop with one particular target. Let's take, for example, the FL cluster. So if we worked on words that had the FL cluster, not only are we targeting, targeting fricatives in flip, but we're also targeting liquids in flip, and we're targeting the cluster. So we are actually addressing three phonological errors at once. So if you have kids on your caseload who have a lot of phonological errors or they're missing so many sounds in their inventory that you just don't know which one to target and you feel like you're playing whack-a-mole as you're targeting a bunch at the same time but not really seeing progress, consider using the complexity approach where you can actually just target one or two more complex clusters to affect change in that child's speech system overall. There's a lot more information in each of the inserts in this deck. You can also take my one hour course found on gramspeechtherapy.com. But the complexity approach decks will not only simplify your speech therapy for your kids with phonological deficits, but you are going to start seeing change and improvement in their speech faster. Mm -hmm.